<laughs> I'm Sarah Varlondo and I'm studying um, architecture at Parsons and politics at mine. Um, it's my first year at the new school and uh, just founded Access New a month ago. Yep. I'm Ariane Merkel. I'm a PhD student in the sociology department at the new school for social research. I'm not going to say how many years I've been here because we don't do that in the doctoral level. It's painful. I've been here many years, um, and I also work at Student Disability Services, and I focus on the sociology of disability. I'm Amelia Giordano. I'm a media studies student. I'm graduating this year, and I'm really, really happy to be here, and so happy that we founded Access New. I'm Tiago Lisboa. I'm a student at Parsons Architecture, first, first year, and I'm volunteer designer uh, of Access New. It all started when uh, we are just talking, to, we, a friend int introduced us and uh, we are talking about the issue we, as a disabled students, what we were um, facing every day and uh, then we thought that well there is no place where we can go, where, where we can get together and what should we do, that we just do it ourselves and then we decided we should uh, create that group and, um, and that's how we started thinking that it would be um, that is an, uh, a need that we have at school to have a coalition of students, but not only students with disabilities, but people also who are just interested in connecting with pretty incredible people. Yeah. I was just going to say um, when we were creating our mission, I thought it was a really powerful moment of mm. just everyone gathering together and saying why they wanted to, to form this group, what they thought the issues were, and it was. It was just this blossoming thing yeah. that was, it was a really organic, um, you could tell that there was a need for it um, yeah. with the, the passion in the room yeah. and just sharing stories. Um, it was clear that that needed, that it was filling a void. Yeah, we all, I think we all uh, were all very um, complimenting each other. We all had a clear idea of what we wanted to fix at school or, or add to what we have and uh, that's how we, like, did it so quickly and um, in three, four weeks because we're passionate about it. Yeah. Well, in terms of learning disability, I think that it's often an invisible disability. And so when people are struggling, sometimes professors or peers don't know. So it's really important that um, students with disabilities have a space to talk about their needs and get the resources they need and self-advocacy is something that takes practice and so um, it's helpful for an older student like myself who has a learning disability and knows what it takes to be a self-advocate. It's good for me to share my stories and to help other people because it's sometimes a very lonely road and you really need to know who to talk to, how to talk to them, um, and you, know, you really need to understand your needs. So. Yeah, and um, following this, as a student with a physical disability, um, it's also something that you can't see at first. Uh, you get you have misjudgments every day. You're also facing challenges every day. You don't want to talk about it because you like why would you talk about it? And um, and you always have to prove yourself, and you end up doing um, the same thing in a different way. But you also also might be doing it maybe even better because you have to put so much effort into it. So it was really important to me and to all of us with different um, backgrounds to show that um, and also tell all those students who might not, might still be in the process of accepting a disability to show that it's okay to, if you have a disability, you're fine. You're different because you're not normal but you might be extraordinary. It's just a difference that, might, that makes you special. So it was important. It took me, I had a car accident so it took me about eight years to say, okay, I'm going to talk about it. And, um, and I, I'm, I'm so happy to see that just after our first event, I had students coming and saying, thank you for doing it. I mean, I, I, I'm not talking about it, I'm alone. And thank you. That's really what um, that all that matters to me. Yeah. And to answer your question about how the school necessarily uh, approaches disability, I think that it's often the, the common denominator of um, what's required or the accommodations that are required. Um, and there's not a lot of work from the administration when it comes to going 
beyond just the accommodations. And I think that that really brought us together, this idea of creating a more inclusive space on campus, which is not just physically inclusive, which I mean, just having doors, that <laughs> automatic doors under the building, these yes. obvious things, but also socially inclusive. So addressing issues of stigma and understanding disability as diversity and not as a deficit is yeah. something that needs to be a part of our curricula. We need to talk about disability um, on, uh, when we discuss accesses of, of um, oppression and it needs to be a part embedded both in the curricula and also just in our events on campus of having more and I think that the fact that we have real abilities um, come to campus is one gesture towards um, going beyond just providing the legally required accommodations and trying to strive to something that is more about justice mm -hmm. and not just about accommodations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's um, what you were saying about the bridges, uh, only which is something very important to us, um, mm -hmm. talking about how the, through cinema you can also connect with people, but also for us to connect with Students with disabilities and students who don't have a disability, mm -hmm. and um, and just not not separate mm -hmm. uh, each groups. So it was it's something important to us, and um, and with the school, I'm really happy that today they were installing the buttons to make uh, the doors automatic and yeah. you see so they listen to us so I'm glad <laughs> thank you it's a legal requirement <laughs> yes <laughs> those are always the easy things to get done first <laughs> and we have to go one step beyond but yeah, yeah. yeah that's so happy <laughs> Real Abilities is an international film festival, so it travels throughout the world. Um, it comes to New York City for one week in March, um, and it's been growing. Um, and there was over 70 venues this year um, throughout all the boroughs, including Long Island and Westchester. So it's not just in universities, it's in libraries. It was on the Intrepid, <laughs> um, kind of just trying to really go into the communities and bring films that are about and by, sometimes about, sometimes by, but the centered um, around people with disabilities. And the idea is to, um, some of them are documentaries, a lot of them are narrative films, but to tell these stories um, in, a, in a wider range. And every, every screening is followed by a discussion with either the filmmaker or protagonist or someone in the film and someone in the community, so bridging, bridging the, making those bridges um, from the, the cinematic world into the, the community. And I think that it was a big deal that it came to New School this year because it was kind of around us. It was at Columbia, it was at the New York Public Library, it was at NYU. Um, and the fact that it was held at the New School, and not only does it demonstrate that the New School is willing to have these disability-related events on campus, but it brought the public into our campus talking about these issues. So we had disability activists come. We had people just wanting to see a free screening of a film came, and they were exposed to these amazing conversations. The discussions were even more powerful than the films themselves. Um, and the surveys that we got were just saying it's accolades. Um, so it was a lot of work and it was so worth the, the work that it did. I think that it had a positive impact on our community. And I hope that now that that partnership between the new school and Real Abilities has been formed, that the process will be easy for it to happen um, in continuing years next March. Uh, well, we started with Down of Summer um, last week. We had our first event. Um, we had incredible people coming for a panel, thanks to Amelia, who brought two uh, girls I mean, who are working on... They're so inspiring. We had um, Megan Hayden and Lucy Jones. Um, they shared their stories, and we had students with disabilities who came and just listened to students with disabilities. Um, and. Um, and uh, so we have been working on that event, and uh, and um, also I've been working with the disability Adv advisory committee and telling them what the issues were. Uh, it's still we're still hoping that it's gonna be fixed. Uh, I'm I'm telling them what I encounter every day, but hopefully now that we have access to you, I'm gonna be able to say 
what the other students are, are facing every day because you know there's so many disabilities that you can't know unless you go through it. Um, so, what the, for example, the cafeteria, for example, we can use both hands, we can't take water with one hand. I tried, <laughs> but you spill it everywhere. Coffees, so those simple things that shouldn't be a struggle, I think, for a student. And um, otherwise, you just stop going and you stop socializing when that's something you should do even more. I'm, right now I'm running a indoor rock climbing program for students with learning disabilities and their allies and it's at Brooklyn Boulders um, and it's been amazing. Um, I think rock climbing is a really great intervention just in terms of building self-trust and communication with people. Um, it's, a, it's the kind of thing that challenges you. A lot of people in our group were afraid of heights and now they're you know climbing really hard and they've gotten stronger over the last couple weeks and we have our next and last class next week. And, it's really, it's really exciting, and I'm, it was very successful. And we received funds from the student senate, which was amazing. Um, so it's just kind of propelled all of my work now going forward and doing Circle Up with a new challenge. You um, won. Yes, I won. Yes. I won the new challenge <laughs> for just... my idea, Circle Up, which is an app that will help um, students transition into college and really understand their learning disabilities and be able to self-advocate. Um, sort of lead from their strengths because a big issue with learning disability is people are constantly talking to you about your learning deficits, what you can't do, what you need to do better. And so it, for us, that doesn't matter because mm -hmm. we always, we nurture our strengths and we lead from them anyway. So they're really, they're our gifts, that, they're what makes us special. So mm -hmm. it's very exciting and I think the rock climbing program has inspired me to keep going and Circle Up is uh, moving along. So it's very, yeah. it's very exciting all under this really awesome umbrella that we've yeah, I'd also like to mention the work I've been doing with Chago yeah. on the design. So much work. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been sleeping much. No. <laughs> so we worked a lot. I think the marketing has been very important uh, to make it attractive. It was something very important to us to show that Accenture can be young and, and fashionable and modern. So through the design we also sent a lot of messages and uh, thanks to Chago. Mm -hmm. I would not have been able to do it alone. And oh, when, when you invited? Uh, you did sort of a, um, a competition, I remember you did, uh -huh. and I was like, I want to do it, I want to yeah. participate. You were the first one. I was the first the one, first like, one. Yeah. it was like posted like two minutes ago, like, yeah. and I was like, I want to participate on that. And that's how it all began, and we, we have been uh, to meetings, or getting together and deciding like which color we should use, the, the type, you know, the sizes, like where to go. And I think like many people enjoyed and liked the the final result. Yeah, yeah, it's something that was pretty unexpected uh, uh, for many people. They expect well, handicap to be boring or something sad or a tragedy, but we want to show that it's fresh and positive. That was the idea, positive and showing that disability is not inability. And uh, so we worked a lot. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>
and uh, but it was really a great starting point for me. They they first invited me on the committee for student disability services, so I think that was also a step for me to share my thoughts, and I realized that they were listening to me, and um, and uh, and then talking to other people who also had the same need. I I I just realized that well, if some people have a disability that is well more difficult than I do, so they might not be able to do it. So the little thing I have, well, that's fine. I can do something they can. So that was really, um, I think the new school really helped me get more engaged, definitely, yeah. So I've worked at Student Disability Services for four years now, um, and I'm very happy with, with the work that I do there, but I do come from a social justice trajectory. And as I mentioned, um, the work tends to be um, accommodation focused, and I did want something that was more focused on um, broader changes and with a vision and moving moving us in a new direction. Um, so when I heard about this group, I just immediately, as as an ally, um, wanted to be supportive um, in any way possible. So I was very very excited. To, yeah, to it's try. pretty incredible for us. For people founding Access New, two with a disability, two don't have a disability. Like it's really uh, reflecting the way we're thinking. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's powerful, powerful, and it gives you even more energy. We've all co been communicating online, we're all so busy, but because we're passionate about it, it just happened. When you want something, you can get it. It's really. Um, I think we realized that at Dawn of Summer, that it happened. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. That's... But it didn't just happen, you put a lot of yeah. into it. <laughs> <That's laughs> <successful. I> <laughs> you had a lot of great support. Too. Yeah. So, and in, in, my great. Case, in my case, for example, I, I met Sarah at the beginning of the semester in our studio class. And, and as soon as she said she wanted to do the logos for that, I was like, I need to do, I need to help because I wanted to be part of something that I know it's going to be very, like, big. Uh, so it was a, a very quick process for me. And I'm, I'm glad I could help on that. Like, even though, like, I, I'm not, um, I don't know much about, like, disabilities or I don't have a disability, but I know that that's an important thing to do, like, to help others. And I think that's also a great strength about the new school that we're designers, thinkers, uh, researchers. We're not um, just one. We don't have just one profile, and our and access is also it's a reflection of this. We everything just came together. We had all the elements. We had everything just to get it done. So and yeah, I mean I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> We yeah. definitely hope that the Real Abilities, which is yeah. a spring project, it occurs in the spring. There is some work to be done in the fall. Um, but other than that, I think that we're kind of going through a membership shift yeah. where there's new students who are, um, since the dawn of summer mm -hmm. event, um, have uh, come forward with um, wanting to be a part participants in this. So I think that it'll kind of, yeah. um, we'll see how it develops. Yes, yeah. And thanks to the USS, we've been able to to get funding for our marketing, um, pens, shirts, posters, with posters still on the fifth floor at the UC, so it's really great. And uh, for the fall, I hope we're going to have an, other events uh, and more and more people. We don't, I don't even call them mem members, I think, just people who are interested in uh, listening to what we're doing or how they can contribute or just meet people who are, can be inspiring for them. Yeah. And I think um, it's really, it was really amazing at Dawn of Summer to see people coming up and saying, well, here's my learning disability, yeah. or here's my story, and realizing that, you know, we do this, this fight in a way is a, is a lonely fight. And so it's so exciting because I think more and more people are reaching out to us, and so we'll be able to connect them um, with the right resources and to each other. And so right now it's almost like we're just compiling stories from people so that yeah. we can better assist them, yeah. which is really exciting because it only takes sort of that, it only took that one event to get people 
kind of all right here you know here it is and this is a really great resource yeah and there were a lot of tears but happy tears yes. just happy, really happy at the yeah. end so many emotions <laughs> he was crying behind the camera I was <laughs> 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 no because everyone started like telling their stories as you said like everyone had a different story but they all felt the same way like i can talk to you about that so that mm. was like the main exactly. the main point about it yeah although we're all very different we all everyone with the, the same, same pain the same feeling that oh i i know what you're going through like i know that feeling mm -hmm. so that was really touching I think that it should be highlighted that <laughs> <laughs> we have this beautiful plaque now. Do you want to? That, I mean, that means the world to me that uh, the new school is giving us a voice. They saw us, they recognize our work, and um, that's really all. Even being nominated, it was just. Mm -hmm. it was, I, I, I'm extremely happy and, and getting it even more, obviously. But, um, Outstanding New Student Organization and Group of the Year. Pronoun Collective, Access New, Students Against Police Brutality, It's Not Your Fault, Survivor Support, Hub Up, Special Events Committee. The Outstanding New Student Organization or Group of the Year Award is given to an organization that has become recognized during the 2014-2015 academic year. This year, we have had a record 25 new student organizations recognized through the Office of Student and Develop Development Equity. This year's recipient is a coalition of students with, with disabilities and their allies who advocate for people with disabilities in the new school community. Their aim is to improve infrastructures, buildings, and give feedback to the administration to make campus more accessible. They are in the process of creating a website that will serve as a clearinghouse of information for students with disabilities, their advocates, peers, faculty, and staff. At the recent Dawn of Summer event, a panel of highly recognized speakers was convened to demonstrate that disability does not equate inability. We are pleased to present the Outstanding New Student Organization of the Year Award to Access New. that we're um, being listened and uh, that we matter to them. Yeah. It's for Outstanding New Student Organization of the Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Indicator that it's our time. Um, you know, in terms of learning disability, going to school in the 90s, being totally unsupported, IEPs, you know, individualized education plans, just this kind of culture of confusion for parents, for educators, for students, and now we're finally, we're grown up, we're getting our master's degrees, we're succeeding, we find, found our own way, and now we're going to try to make it easier for other people, and I think, in a yeah, way, it's, yeah. you know, our experiences yeah. um, and our struggles, we're yeah. sort of like wounded healers, you know, we've gone yes. through this on our own, and now we know how to help other people, and we can ease the path for them, so I think this is a total indicator that it's our yeah. time, and that, you know, there's a lot more to come. That's one of many, I'm sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just the one award, but I do want to highlight also the um, event that we were just at um, was a student leadership award for a variety of different awards. And there definitely was a theme of disability justice. Yes. Yeah. Many people um, beyond the people in this room won awards or were nominated for their disability justice work. So it, it was, I was at this event last year and it did, it, it, that wasn't as strong of a theme as it is this year. So I do think that it's beyond the people in this room. They're, they're, this is becoming um, a, on the forefront for social justice activities. On yeah. Campus. Yeah, because it seems so, uh, a pretty uh, basic thing to have at a school or in a city, or but it seems that it's just, it just didn't happen before, and people are just well, finally, thank God you're doing it. That's that's great. That the the they're um, almost in a rush that <laughs> we're creating, <laughs> we're doing as much as we can, um, and yeah, I was extremely pleased to see at the event that um, it was disability related, and you got the award, she got two awards. And she got one too. <laughs> so we've been, yeah, very, very lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right now, um, 
Um, so I'm still on the, on the process of like creating a website, uh, but they can find us on Facebook, facebook.com, Access New School. And I just started with Twitter, <laughs> Access New US. Hopefully we'll get to other countries. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so they can definitely um, like us on Facebook and send a message through Facebook. We also have an email, accessnew at newschool.edu. Um, and even if they just need help, anything, they want, they want to get any information about for them or for someone else. If they have someone in class, they don't know what to do. We also, it's also important. To me, it's really important, I think, to us. Uh, I've been facing that every day. People, should I ask her what she has or not? Well, how do I ask it? How do I, how do I do it? So I have a lot of, also a lot of people asking um, just advice. And so just anything help. If, I, if we can help, we'll do it. So they can send us an email on Facebook for now. Yeah. Mm -hmm.